After more than a decade since its debut, we know that many people still doubt the Tesla Semi, believing that a battery-powered truck is simply unrealistic. The limited production numbers so far seem to support that view. However, during the recent third-quarter financial meeting, Elon Musk announced that their semi-truck can perform as fast as a sports car. The newly upgraded Tesla Semi V2 not only features a lower aerodynamic drag coefficient, but also boasts a more modern design, a wider cab, and full self-driving capability. Now it's ready for anyone to place an order by the end of this year. Factory is it's going on schedule. We've you know, completed the building and are installing the equipment now. Um, we've got our fleet of validation trucks uh, driving on the road. We'll have larger builds towards the end of this year and then our first online builds in the first part of next year, uh, ramping into you know, the Q2 timing with real volume coming in the back half of the year. So, how did Tesla manage to make this semi not only faster, but also smarter with full FSD? And what's the real breakthrough behind its sleek design and glowing cab? Welcome to Tesla Car World. Oh my God, it's absolutely insane to know that a truck weighing up to 80,000 pounds can now run entirely on battery power. Even more unbelievable, it can operate fully autonomously, driving itself across an entire route without a human behind the wheel. It sounds amazing to witness a brighter future, almost like something straight out of a science fiction story that transcends time. But honestly, what matters most is whether you can manage your money wisely without wasting it. So, does the Tesla Semi-5 II actually come equipped with full self-driving as a standard feature, or is it simply an optional upgrade like any other add-on? Here's Tesla's latest confirmation. That's going quite well, and, and that's the first step to obviously getting autonomous uh, trucks on the road. What Tesla just confirmed might sound like a simple update, but in reality, it's anything but. Elon Musk is hinting at something much bigger. Because if an 80,000-pound semi-truck can now travel across the U.S. entirely on battery power, that's not just innovation. It's a revolution in transportation. For decades, diesel has ruled the highways. Every grocery shelf, every warehouse aisle has been stocked thanks to trucks burning thousands of gallons of fuel each year. But those same trucks also consume enormous amounts of fuel, maintenance, and driver labor. But the Tesla Semi has flipped that script. Its powertrain, high-density battery pack, and one megawatt charging system together form the foundation for continuous long-haul freight transport without relying on diesel fuel. One charge replaces hundreds of dollars worth of diesel. Regenerative braking means less wear and tear, and the absence of an engine eliminates oil changes entirely. Those operational advantages are now measurable and officially reported. Fleet customers like U.S. Foods and PepsiCo have reported up to 50% lower energy costs compared to equivalent diesel trucks, reduced maintenance expenses due to no oil changes and fewer moving parts, and less brake wear thanks to regenerative technology. Now, integrating full self-driving into that equation takes the breakthrough even further. Imagine a truck operating 24 per 7 with pinpoint precision, cutting delivery times, insurance risks, and labor costs all at once. For fleet operators, that's a spreadsheet miracle. Every hour saved, every gallon of fuel conserved, adds up to millions in annual savings. As Tesla perfects FSD for the semi, the transition from driver-assisted to driverless isn't just a hardware swap, it's a software unlock. The new Semi V2 platform comes equipped with the same vision system and AI toolkit used in the Model S, X, and Cybertruck fleets. That means your investment today won't become outdated over time. It evolves with every over-the-air update. According to the latest announcement from Tesla's engineering division, the company has unveiled its Iron Man 3D diagnostic system for the Cybertruck, and it's now being rolled out to the Tesla Semi as well. Quite simply, it's the ultimate platform for autonomous trucks enabling real-time 3D structural monitoring, predicting failures before they happen, reducing downtime costs, standardizing technical data, and keeping the semi running safer, longer, and smarter. Tesla's new interactive 3D wiring diagram in service mode has been blowing up the internet. It allows owners to rotate, zoom in, and tap directly on the Tesla Semi electrical system right from the touchscreen. Users can click on connectors to view pin layouts, wire colors, and signal types in real time, turning what used to be hours of diagnostics into just a few minutes. All of this is part of Service Mode Plus, now available on the Tesla Semi and coming soon to next-generation vehicles equipped with hardware 4, such as the upgraded Model Y. In truth, Tesla has just made traditional auto repair tools obsolete. 
Meanwhile, skeptics will argue that fully autonomous vehicles are still a long way off. Maybe so. But so were electric trucks, until Tesla built one. Just last week, Tesla and U.S. Foods conducted highway trials of the semi in active service. Those same skeptics once laughed at the idea of a 500-mile range, yet the semis are now proving it every single day under real-world loads. After more than nine years of testing and delays, the Tesla semi has finally entered full-scale production, expanding into real-world fleet operations. Compared to the roughly 200 prototype units previously tested internally by Tesla, Pepsi, and a few logistics partners, the latest milestone marks a major shift. The semi's recent deployment in refrigerated freight for major corporations like U.S. Foods signals a clear move from promise to proven performance. By the end of this year, not only logistics companies but also individual customers will be able to place orders for the upgraded Tesla Semi V2. Now, states like California, New York, and Washington are moving toward banning the sale of new diesel trucks after 2036, and the Tesla Semi couldn't have arrived at a better time. With zero emissions, companies that transition early to the semi gain a competitive edge in meeting environmental regulations and minimizing carbon tax risks. This is especially crucial for large distribution and supply chain corporations that must report emissions under ESG standards. Even more impressive, Dan Priestley, Tesla's chief engineer for the semi program, revealed that smart design adjustments are significantly reducing production costs. According to the latest update from the Giga Semi factory, Tesla's newest and most advanced assembly line has been engineered specifically to build the next-generation Semi, capable of producing one truck every few minutes. So, how much does the Tesla Semi 5.2 version cost? In the midst of a revolution in the transportation industry, the Tesla Semi Gen 2 is emerging with two rumored configurations soon to be released, priced at around $170,000 for the base 300-mile version and roughly $250,000 for the special 500-mile variant, marking a major turning point in Tesla's pricing strategy. When Tesla first announced the Semi's pricing back in 2017, the company set the base model at $150,000 for the 300-mile version and $180,000 for the 500-mile version. However, those figures quickly became outdated. Real-world data from PepsiCo's delivery in 2023 showed that the actual cost had risen to about $250,000 for the 500-mile configuration, a striking 38% increase over the original estimate. This price jump reflects ongoing production challenges, rising material costs, and demand far exceeding initial supply. The projected $170,000 price tag for the Tesla Semi Gen 2's 300-mile version represents a smart strategic move. Although it's higher than the original 2017 figure, Inflation and rising production costs make it effectively a price. Reduction in real market terms. The strategy aims to broaden Tesla's addressable market by offering a more affordable option for regional and urban logistics operators. The 300-mile model is especially meaningful because it aligns perfectly with how most specialized fleets actually operate. Under the U.S. Department of Transportation's Hours of Service rules, a single driver can operate a truck for up to 11 hours before being required to rest for 10 hours allowing for roughly 550 highway miles per shift. That means the 300-mile semi easily covers most local or interhub routes, letting companies save costs by avoiding the expense of a larger battery they don't really need. On the other hand, the 500-mile version, priced around $250,000, targets an entirely different market. It offers long-haul operators a true diesel replacement, enabling them to complete extended routes with fewer charging stops. At this price point, Tesla is building a clear profitability case based on operational savings yield. In-depth analysis suggests that the $250,000 500-mile semi achieves gross margins of about 20 to 23 percent, comparable to traditional truck manufacturers. This isn't excessive profit. It's a fair valuation for a leading-edge technology product in a critical sector. Analysts predict that even as federal incentive programs phase out, Tesla may maintain the $250,000 price as a balance between competitiveness and long-term financial sustainability. To understand why these prices make sense, it's essential to look beyond the sticker price and consider total cost of ownership. A modern diesel Class 8 truck today costs between $135,000 and $250,000. But operational expenses tell the real story. A diesel truck typically burns 20,000 to 25,000 gallons of fuel per year. At around $4 per gallon, 
That adds up to $80,000 to $100,000 annually in fuel costs alone. By contrast, the Tesla Semi Gen 2 consumes less than 2 kilowatt hours of electricity per mile, dropping as low as 1.73 kilowatt hour per mile in optimized versions. At an industrial electricity rate of roughly 30 cents per kilowatt hour, that equates to just $15,500 to $20,000 in annual energy costs for the same mileage, a direct savings of $60,000 to $80,000 per year in fuel alone. Maintenance costs tell a similar story. Diesel engines require oil changes, filters, brake service, and constant mechanical upkeep. For heavy-duty diesel trucks, maintenance can reach $35,000 per year. Tesla's electric powertrain, with far fewer moving parts, requires minimal service, estimated at 40 to 50% lower than its diesel counterparts. When you add it all up, the numbers are compelling. A typical diesel truck costs about $2.23 per mile to operate, while the Tesla Semi Gen 2 comes in at around 55 cents per mile, a 37 cents per mile advantage. Over a standard 1 million mile, 7 year operating life, that difference translates into $370,000 to $480,000 in savings, even after factoring in the higher initial purchase price, roughly $100,000 more. Companies still net around $270,000 to $380,000 in lifetime gains. In recent years, federal incentives have made the economics even more attractive. Under the Inflation Reduction Act, companies can receive up to $40,000 in tax credits for every Class 8 electric truck purchased, effectively eliminating the initial price gap. While these incentives may change under future administrations, they make the semi's financial case even more compelling today. The existence of two clearly defined versions reflects Tesla's strategic pricing duality, the 300-mile, $170,000 model aims to capture the urban and regional logistics market, focusing on volume rather than high margins, expanding Tesla's reach beyond large logistics corporations. Meanwhile, the 500-mile, $250,000 model targets long-haul operators willing to pay for a complete technological solution, directly replacing diesel on major routes. Together, they form a comprehensive two-tier strategy that covers both mass market and premium fleet segments. Tesla also benefits from its advancements in battery technology. Its new 4680 battery system has now surpassed 100 million cells produced, improving efficiency and reducing manufacturing costs. Over time, these gains will create downward pricing pressure, potentially allowing Tesla to lower the cost of both versions as production volumes continue to scale. In fact, the truck still maintains an impressive driving range, thanks to a 7% efficiency boost from the aerodynamic improvement we mentioned earlier. A smaller, more affordable battery pack also means reduced weight and lower operating costs, a win for both Tesla and its customers. So, how has the design of the Tesla Semi actually been upgraded? As shown in images of the upgraded components, Dan Priestley also highlighted design enhancements such as new mirrors that improve visibility and aerodynamics. In addition, the Tesla Semi now features new, drop glass windows. Currently, the Tesla Semi prototypes are equipped with traditional mirrors each integrated with three cameras working in sync with the truck camera monitoring system, streaming live footage to dual 15-inch displays inside the cabin. This setup not only meets U.S. regulatory standards, but also enhances aerodynamics and provides drivers with a complete 360-degree view, eliminating blind spots. What remains unclear, however, is what Tesla plans for the second-generation mirrors. They could add even more cameras, which is entirely possible. Or, as Dan Priestley hinted, the new design might make the Semi even more aerodynamic while improving visibility. That would mean smaller physical mirrors paired with smarter, more advanced camera technology. Personally, we hope Tesla keeps at least some form of physical mirror. It just feels right for a truck like this. Over the past few years, many, though not all, of Tesla's refreshed vehicle models have debuted with a sleek new light bar, a distinctive design element that Elon Musk seems to be turning into a brand signature. According to a report from Next Big Future, the latest update to the Tesla Semi includes Redesigned headlights featuring a modern LED light bar, a reclining cabin for added comfort on long hauls, and improved aerodynamics with a drag coefficient of 0.36, roughly 30% better than dies. The upgraded Semi will feature improved aerodynamics with a lower drag coefficient. The current prototype sits at around 0.40 but with refinements to the glass and mirror design, 
that number could drop to 0.36. That's a big deal. Smoother airflow means better acceleration and improved energy efficiency, giving the Semi a significant edge over traditional diesel trucks. As we mentioned earlier, the Tesla Semi's electric motors and battery system are far simpler than the complex diesel engines found in conventional trucks. This streamlined design dramatically reduces the number of moving parts and assembly time, making large-scale production much more feasible. Elon Musk has stated a long-term goal of producing 50,000 units per year, and while that might not happen next year, it's certainly within reach in the near future. Based on the current production pace, we estimate Tesla could hit around 20,000 semis by 2026, an ambitious but achievable target, especially as the new production line is expected to launch by the end of this year. It's also equipped with a tri-motor powertrain that boosts efficiency by another 7%. The upgraded headlights could give the semi a more distinctive look compared to previous prototypes. Of course, the light bar likely won't serve as the main headlights. Instead, it's expected to sit just below them, illuminating the road ahead. Meanwhile, Tesla's plan to add a sleeper cabin to the semi is no longer just a rumor. It's happening, and we're confident about that. Because Dan Priestley himself mentioned it some time ago, and we remember it clearly. Around last year, he said the semi would eventually include a sleeper cabin, giving drivers a comfortable place to rest during multi-day trips. Honestly, this could be the most exciting update yet for the next-generation semi. Sleep is a serious issue for truck drivers. Fatigue is one of the leading causes of long-haul trucking accidents across thousands of miles. The current semi doesn't yet feature a dedicated sleeping area, though the cabin's spacious layout clearly shows the potential. That made sense for early prototypes focused on testing, but as production ramps up, a sleeper cabin will become truly essential. Recent updates show that production progress for the Tesla Semi at both the Reno, Nevada, and Austin. Texas factories is moving forward rapidly. The Reno facility, spanning 1.7 million square feet and representing a $3.6 billion investment, is now in the final stages of structural completion and equipment installation. The plant is expected to begin rolling out the first Tesla Semi units by late 2025, with a target capacity of 50,000 trucks per year, by 2026. The factory will also integrate 4680 battery cell production, helping reduce costs and boost performance. In addition, Giga Texas in Austin is emerging as another key hub for large-scale semi-production, with the capability to produce tens of thousands of units annually. This massive facility is equipped with advanced manufacturing technologies to meet the rising global demand for electric freight vehicles. The latest production video also highlighted Tesla's progress in fast charging technology for the semi. The V4 charging system, with a 1.2 megawatt capacity, can recharge up to 70% of the battery in just 30 minutes and supports multi-vehicle charging simultaneously. Tesla is actively building out a megawatt charging network along major U.S. freight corridors such as I-5 and I-80, with completion expected by 2027, giving the Semi a major infrastructure advantage over competitors. So what are your thoughts on the new Tesla semi Fu 2 design? And if you had the choice, which version would you go for? the 300 mile or the 500 mile model please share your opinion in the comments section below this video thanks for watching our video subscribe now so you don't miss the next breaking tesla update it's coming in just two days if you want to explore more exciting information about tesla ev or tesla bot don't forget to hit the like button also make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos we appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.